So we'll do a topic is Gram's law of effusion and diffusion. Before we have discussed about the Dalton's law of partial pressure. So today our topic is Gram's law of effusion and diffusion. First of all, what is diffusion and what is effusion? First of all, what is diffusion? Diffusion is the intermixing, intermixing of the gases. From higher, from higher region, from higher pressure region to the lower pressure, to the lower pressure. Diffusion is the intermixing of the gases from higher pressure region to the lower pressure region. Suppose we are having one container, and this. Here we are having O2 gas. Here we are having O2 gas and here N2 gas. Here we are having O2 and here N2. When these will get mixed to each other from the higher region to the lower region, that will be called the diffusion. Diffused or diffusion. Here is the one point that the diffusibility. Diffusibility will be higher in the ideal gas. Higher in the ideal gases, but the lower in the real gases. Lower in the real gases. After that, if we talk about the effusion, what is effusion? Effusion is basically diffusion from the pinhole called the effusion. Diffusion from the pinhole call the effusion how like here we are having one container in this we are having very small hole and we are having two gases right when they get mixed to each other intermixing but from the pinhole that calls the effusion if you take an example of the tire car tire or any tire if if you do hole in it that will be called the effusion because the gas is moving from the higher region to the lower region but from the pinhole that is called the effusion now what was the gram's law basically gram's law was depended upon the effusion and the diffusion both here he said that the rate of diffusion basically gram's law was dependent upon the rate of the diffusion <coughs> he said rate of diffusion is inversely proportional to the square root of the, its molar mass square root of its molar for example we are having here any gas that is inversely proportional to the rate of the diffusion of that gas is inversely proportional to the molar mass square root of its molar mass this statement was given by gram the statement was given by here here uh, we can see pressure temperature and area these three are the constant these three are the constant while molar mass is the temporary these three are the constant here here he said the rate of the diffusion is inversely proportional to the square over its molar mass where the pressure temperature and area is a per constant after that he gave one statement that the r1 any gas we name is the r1 right upon r2 right here R1 for example any gas is here like CO2 that will be inversely proportional to its molar mass here will be the M1 and here will be the M2 because this is inversely proportional to this and this is inversely proportional to this and here he gave an example that sorry a statement that the density is directly proportional to the molar mass or mass so here if you put molar mass so we can also put density like this r1 upon r2 is equals to the uh, sorry density 2 upon density 1 so this is also correct right now diffusibility of gases depend upon the two factors diffusibility of gases depend upon the two factors number one is the density 
and number two is a molar mass right so here he gave this statement that the r1 uh, here we can put ma as many as guesses we want here i have only mentioned about the two guesses if we want to find about three guesses how we find like r is is equal to the here we can find one guess right and same as we can find another guess suppose that co2 is equal to the one upon mco2 here we can find right so this was a grams law here we are having one question in this if we talk about the numericals of this so the question is to find the ratio of rate of difference of helium diffusion of helium and ch4 here the question that they find the ratio of rate of diffusion of the helium and CH4. How we will find the ratio of rate? Here R1 upon R2 is equals to the M2 upon M1, right? Here if we take one gas helium, so R helium upon R CH4 is equals to the what is the M CH4 because it's two here and two upon m helium so what is the molar mass of the ch4 that is a 16 that is a 16 molar mass of helium is a 4 right so 16 for the 16 so the it will be the 2 upon 1 so the ratio will be the 2 ratio 1 so this was a problem of the gram slope